Scrambled eggs are simple and easy to ruin, but the secret to a better plate of eggs might be in your fridge right now. How many times have you tried to make a plate of fluffy and light scrambled eggs only to end up with dense or overdone ones? There are many methods of making scrambled eggs, such as whipping air into your egg mixture, adding whipped cream, or just simply dropping your eggs into the pan and stirring. The art of making scrambled eggs is more personal than you might think, and sometimes, to get the perfect, fluffiest egg, you may need to think outside the box and reach for a bottle of humble seltzer water. Ten, I Believe it or not, a splash of seltzer can make your eggs more airy, fluffy, and light. The bubbly drink, besides being a refreshing alternative to flat water, can also refresh your morning plate of eggs. The bubbles, carbon dioxide gas suspended in water, add volume to your egg mixture and may be the key to improving your scrambled egg game. Seltzer is useful for more than eggs, as many New York City delis use it to boost their cream cheese, and it is also handy for making the fluffiest pancakes and waffles. But how does seltzer improve your eggs exactly? Basically, seltzer fluffs up your eggs by adding pockets of air, the carbon dioxide bubbles in the drink, to your egg mixture. These bubbles, when heated, expand, creating a light and airy texture in your scramble that would otherwise need long and vigorous whisking. To try this easy cooking hack, you only need a fork or whisk, a bowl, eggs, and seltzer. You should use unflavored seltzer for this recipe unless you're craving lime-flavored eggs. And if you have a soda stream, this hack is even simpler. Voila! Homemade seltzer. The general rule is to add one tablespoon of seltzer for every two eggs you want to scramble. You can add your seltzer before or after you mix your yolks with your whites. However, it may help to mix your yolks and whites well before adding your seltzer. This way, you avoid losing the bubbles when you stir. Still, you need to blend the seltzer with your egg mixture before cooking, so stir in your water thoroughly. The seltzer in your eggs should replace milk or heavy cream, since using both seltzer and another liquid in your eggs may make them soggy. Once the seltzer is mixed with your eggs, you can cook them as usual, stirring your egg mixture to get a fluffy, smooth scramble. And voila! You have some incredibly fluffy eggs. A word of warning, seltzer alone cannot fix a bad batch of scrambled eggs. It is only one factor in making the best and fluffiest scramble. As Daniel Gritzer of Serious Eats puts it, Overall, I'd consider liquid add-ins a way to modify the texture, flavor, and moisture level of the eggs, though they're much less important than the cooking method itself. If you really want the best eggs, there are some tips and steps you should follow. For one, you should not crack your eggs into your pan when scrambling. This stops you from scrambling your eggs properly before they cook. And remember, you cannot scramble a cooked egg. Cracking your eggs into a hot pan also prevents whisking or mixing, which are crucial for scrambling eggs, as mixing adds air and makes a fluffier scramble. And who wants a flat, rubbery scrambled egg? Instead, you should mix your eggs in a separate bowl right before putting your eggs into your pan. And whip your eggs well, as the more you stir the egg mixture, the more air you add and the more your eggs fluff up. Additionally, if you want a richer and more flavorful scrambled egg, you can add some extra yolks to your egg mixture. The extra yolks make your scramble tastier and smoother thanks to the extra fat. Ultimately, making the perfect scrambled egg is more complicated than implementing one simple trick. But if you're looking to pep up your eggs, adding some bubbles can be a great start.